So in this video, we're going to teach you about the windlass mechanism. This is a crucial concept for understanding the plantar fascia and gait, how we move. So if you're ready to learn, let's dive in. Hey everyone, Khaled here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So in order to teach you about the windlass mechanism, the first thing we need to do is show you the key important structures of the medial foot. So as a result, let's dive in to our 3D anatomy model. So in this first part of the anatomy video, there are four key structures that we want to point out to you. These are the plantar fascia, the metatarsophalangeal joints, the calcaneus bone, and the medial longitudinal arch. So let's start with the plantar fascia. So the plantar fascia is a thick fibrous band that originates from the medial tubercle of the calcaneus and extends to the proximal phalanges of the toes. Now, the plantar fascia is made up of three specific portions, a medial portion, a central portion, and a lateral portion. The central portion is perhaps the most important part, which is suggested to be the thickest bit, and is sometimes referred to as the plantar aponeurosis. Now, the medial aspect of the plantar fascia attaches to the abductor hallucis muscle, as we can see here, and the lateral part attaches to the abductor digiti minimi muscle, as we can see here. So, this plantar aponeurosis, as we said a second ago, divides and spreads towards each of the toes. When it does, it attaches to the plantar plates of the foot, which we can see as these little green dots here, which are small soft tissue structures that effectively allow for an attachment point to the metatarsophalangeal joints at the metatarsal heads, crucially important when we understand the windlass mechanism. So the next component to show you is the metatarsophalangeal joints themselves. These are the joints between the metatarsals of each digit and the proximal phalanx of each digit. Now, this is really important when we talk about extending the toes, which you'll see shortly. The next concept to talk about is the calcaneus or heel bone, which, as we said, is where the plantar fascia originates from. And then we have the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. This is made up of crucial bones on the medial side of the foot, including the calcaneus, the talus, the navicular bone, the three cuneiform bones, and the first three metatarsals. And if we look at these bones from the medial side, we can almost appreciate that they form a bridge or an arch on the medial side of the foot. So when we walk, our body weight moves down the tibia and down into the foot. This downward force through the tibia would normally flatten the arch created by those bones. And so the key aim of the plantar fascia is to maintain this arch created by these bones rather than allowing them to flatten towards the floor. And it does this via the windlass mechanism. So a windlass is defined as the tightening of a rope or a cable. And so the plantar fascia acts as a cable attached between the calcaneus and the metatarsophalangeal joints, as we said. So in the propulsion phase of gait, as we extend the metatarsophalangeal joint, this in turn winds the plantar fascia around the metatarsal heads. This therefore shortens the distance between the calcaneus and the metatarsal heads. Now, just for a second, I want you to imagine that this piece of card I have in my hand is the plantar fascia. Look what happens when I shorten the distance between the two ends of the card. It pushes upwards. And therefore, as you can imagine, when we get that shortening between the calcaneus and the metatarsophalangeal heads, it pushes a little bit of force upwards in order to maintain that bridge of the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. And that's how the windlass mechanism allows the plantar fascia to do so. So everyone, if this video has helped you understand the windlass mechanism, please support us by smashing that like button and subscribe to the channel for all our best updates. Remember, we've got loads of resources on our Instagram account, at Clinical Physio, and on our website, clinicalphysio.com. My name's Khalid. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon here on Clinical Physio.